Welcome ladies and gents, my name is Rick Hersey. Today we are going to be playing some Dying Light. This is a game that is a little surprising. I did not realize how much fun I would be having in this game. If you're not aware, this game is a zombie apocalypse game. So you basically play as a guy who has the ability to free roam. Actually, the name of your character is Crane. And he can free roam. It's got a lot of inspiration from Mirror's Edge as well as some Dead Island inspiration. Which makes a lot of sense considering that the developers of this game are the same developers who did the original Dead Island games. So that kind of makes sense. But I've really been enjoying myself. It took a while to actually get me hooked. I was having a lot of issues where um, I, I couldn't... I was having to convince myself to pick the game up. But uh, I figure might as well just kind of do some free roaming right here and kind of show you off some of the cool things about the game. So you see up in the right corner, there's my mini map right there. You can see certain things around me. Actually, there's a little greenhouse. That's one of the safe zones, which is what that is. So I can use that to rest up. When it turns night, I can go in there and wait for morning, as well as kind of catch my breath and store some gear if I needed to. Over to my left, you might see there's like a little arrow right here, a little white arrow. And that's because right down there is what is known as a special infected. I don't know officially what that guy is called, but he, he's like a acid spitter. He, uh, he's not a good guy. Uh, but there's mainly basic zombies and things like that. So, uh, might as well just run in a, let's go this way. So this right here is some trash. You, uh, you can jump into trash and it'll kind of like soften your fall. So from any like height, you can jump down and then you can hit the trash. But let's actually go inside and kind of see what's what inside these buildings. Cause it's always good to loot. You want to check some things sometimes cause they, uh, so we got nails right there. So crafting is a thing in this game. So you definitely want to like grab as many materials that you find. Even if you don't necessarily need it, you might as well just pick it up anyway. So I just grabbed some gauze right there, which I'm going to just continue to check this air, uh, you know, this place before I decide to leave. We got chemicals right there. Uh, okay. And it seems like this place has been, you know, pretty looted. So I'm going to actually go into the menu right here. I'm going to go over to blueprints and then you can see there's med kit right there. I have alcohol and I have gauze. Those are the two things that I need. So I'm going to go and craft that. And I have an ability so I can use one crafting and it will get me actually two med kits. So I have three total med kits right now and med kits are probably the most valuable resource in the game because when you're hurt and you're in the middle of combat, you really want to get some med kits. So so you can heal yourself. So I'm going to just show off some of the free roaming right here, which is not the easiest thing in the world to get a grasp on. But then once you finally get it, it's, you know, the game really clicks. Um, you know, like I said before, I, I was having a lot of trouble actually picking the game up, convincing myself to pick the game up. But once I finally got a handle on how the game actually works, um, the game fun. So you just got to be careful. You want to check your corners. We got a zombie up here. So let's go take him out. We'll show off some of the combat. I fell. Let's go ahead and climb up. Oh, he fell. All right, so we're going to fight right here. So the thing about zombies is that you have a kicking move right there. Now I have a upgrade that allows me to stun people or stun zombies, but then they, they can grab you, and that's not cool. So he's kind of, he's dead. And I also just leveled up, so I'm going to go ahead and search him, grab some money, and then go into the menu and spend some of my... Uh, your body becomes more athletic. Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to absorb more damage because, you know, health goes down pretty quickly. So that guy died pretty quickly, but you have a kicking move to kind of just, you know, it, the thing about fighting zombies is that you really need to control the fight as much as you can. You don't want any of them behind you. You also don't want any of them to be like around you. I keep seeing the zombie right here. So instead of like demonstrating on air, I might as well demonstrate on him. So you see right here is a zombie. You want to kick them to kind of keep them away from you. Sometimes in the world, there are these little spike things. So if you can lure a zombie to it and kind of kick them into it, you will kill them. I'm going to try to do it right here. During the day, zombies are very slow. Like they'll, they'll walk to you. They won't run. Uh, some of them might. Some of them you might encounter in the world. Uh, I forget what they're called. Ferals or something. So you just see right there, I just kind of got that one into the spikes. But like I said before, you really want to control the fight when it comes to zombies. You don't want them to, you know, grab you or anything. And then when you have your melee weapon, you just want to kind of smack them in the head a couple of times. Sometimes you can stun them. And then when you do, you can, you know, obviously get a couple of more extra hits. You don't want to get surrounded by zombies. There have been many a times where I was fighting, you know, one zombie and then I turned around and there were like five million of them. So you definitely don't want to get surrounded by 
you know, the Zambuki. So we have more right here. Let's go ahead and take these guys out very quickly. Just hit them. So that little bar in the center of my screen right there is no is my stamina. So when that gets low, I won't be able to continue to swing my weapon. But I'm just going to smack these guys. All right, so they're dead. Oh, this one's actually not dead. Little jerk. I'm actually going to wait for him to get up because I'm going to demonstrate one of the abilities that I got. I'm going to drop kick him. Hey! Ha! All right, I don't think he's dead. Oh, no, he is dead. All right, well, I just wasted a hit on him. Always make sure he's dead. So I picked up what is uh, metal parts right there, which is really cool because if I hold down Y, I can heal or I can actually repair whatever weapon I have. And then there's this guy. This guy is one of the special infected. Um, I don't like him. I'm actually going to throw a Molotov at him. Ha! I don't like to engage this guy if at all possible. And then there's that guy. I guess he's armored, but I, I don't know. I guess he goes down pretty quickly. I really haven't engaged any of them personally. Um, I'm just going to throw another Molotov at the big guy right there. I mean, he's got to die eventually, right? Zombies don't like fire. Let's let's actually hit this guy. I assume, like, he's armored. Oh, boy. All right, so I'm going to try to lure him to this barrel right here. Can I kick this barrel? No, I cannot. So let's see if I can... What's he doing? Come here, you jerk. Come on. I'm gonna try to, whoa, zombies. Okay, so that's what I mean by you don't want, you need to make sure you are aware of your environment. You don't want any zombies to surround you. All right, boy, oh boy, we gotta go. Looks like, wait, what's the, oh boy, we gotta go. We gotta go now, we're being chased. Well, so like I said before, some of them do run during the day. I'm not even sure if I really mentioned that or not, but Jesus. We gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. Ho, oh, oh, ho, just run. See, I've gotten really good at the parkouring of the free running in this game, but you gotta be very careful that... Uh, uh, huh. Did I lose them? Nope, I didn't lose them. Run, run, run. Okay, hold on, it's only one, so maybe we can take him. Ha! Nope, here comes the second one. Throw him out top. I totally missed. All right, I think I can sprint again. Go, 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 come on, we gotta go, we gotta go. Yeah, those guys are mean. They'll, they'll chase you down and they'll... I mean, it doesn't matter. You can... I think I've hit the edge of the world here, so I might want to try to cut in. What's cool is that while you're running, you can hold down Y and then kind of see behind you. It's very useful when you're getting chased. Because you can kind of see, without actually stopping and turning around, how far away the enemies are. But I think you can see on the mini-map that they're turning from red to yellow. And when they turn white, they're unaware of where you are. But right now, they are fully aware of where I am. So I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to lose them somewhere. I could have probably have gone inside that building and maybe lost them, but I, I think I'm getting some distance from them right now. Just going to try to jump over this fence. Oh, more zombies! Okay, let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Just have them go down the stairs, and now, huh. I think I have lost the guys chasing me. What's this guy? I've never seen this kind of zombie before. He's... All right, all right, all right, all right, let's go. Activate light trap. That's very useful at night. Really useless during the day. Let's grab some money out of this cash register. Because like I said, there is a, um... well, I guess I haven't said that. Uh, so in certain safe zones in this game, there are traders, and even out in the world, there are some traders that you can use money to, uh, you know, barter with. And... Oh my God! Okay, I did not know that could happen. But that might have been loud, so that might avoid some, or might attract some zombies. All right. God, I hear a lot of noise. Let's go ahead and use my survivor ability. So survivor, that survivor, I forget what it's called. I guess it's survivor instinct, I don't know. It tells you searchable containers, things that may be of use, and also is very useful at night when you're trying to avoid what are called, I forget what they're actually called, but you're trying to avoid the big baddies at night. Um, high voltage. All right, so let's keep moving. And we, now we are aware that these, these will actually break. Let's see if I jump, will it break? No. All right, so let's keep moving. Let's see, can I go inside here? No. Certain doors you can go inside, others you, you know, sometimes you can't go into all of them. So I'm gonna just take this guy out quickly. He's down. Nope, he's not. All right, we got more zombies coming in. 
don't want them to surround us, so you definitely got to control the area. Be aware of your surroundings. Let's try to jump. Oh boy, let's go. We got to go. All right, let's climb up there. Zombies, normal zombies can't climb, but, you know, the dudes that were chasing us earlier, they can, so. All right, this zombie is not dead, and now is dead. All right, search and get money. Now that zombie's on fire. All right, there we go. All right, all right, so kicking a fire zombie is not good. Not smart. All right, let's, uh... My, my path to find a gun... Oh, boy, there's a big guy. Let's not let's not engage the big guy. Let's go in here. All right, so let's search this. And we got some plastic. Not really sure what that's used for, but I'm sure it's a crafting... Whoa! Okay. Oh, boy. Get away from me. Get away from me. Let's go. Oh, another zombie. All right, so see, this is what I mean. But you got to be very, very careful. All right, so it looks like the sun's going down, which is not great, which means that it's about to be night. I can't find a gun. Do you gotta buy a gun in this game or can you find one out in the world? Can I go inside there? No, let's climb. Let's climb. My weapon's getting really low. I don't like to um, use metal parts to repair a weapon unless it's like really low. But that's actually, I'm debating if I wanna switch my weapons to what I was using earlier. But this one actually has some upgrades to it. You can actually upgrade weapons. Certain certain uh, weapons in the game can be upgraded. Uh, and this one does have an upgrade, so I guess it's actually better if I use this one for now. Looks like we got a couple of buildings we can search. I definitely like to be high up. Like I said before, I usually don't like to engage zombies because sometimes they'll surround you, and uh, that's not fun. You don't want to sit still in this game at all. But there is a safe zone right here. It's Jed speaking to all the runners. Wrap things up, guys. The sun's going down, so you better be on your way to the tower. All right, so that was one of my allies basically telling me that the sun's going down. Um, and I really want the sun to go down because I want to be out at night. Um, but I really want to keep searching because I want to find a gun. I haven't found a gun in this game. I'm sure a gun is very useful. See that mission right there where the guy's like, hey, give me a gun. And I'm like, all right, well, I'll give you a gun after I find myself a gun. All right, so what I found right there was actually a consumable. Uh, sometimes out in the world you can find consumable stuff, and then you can use that for a very quick little sneaky snack, which I could do right here. So yum, 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 and boom. Alcohol you cannot consume because it's a craftable item. Or, uh, so that was, that was a good little, little find there. All right, so we got another zombie right there, but oh, I don't want to engage that zombie. Not, not, not for any particular reason. I just, you know, like I said before, I don't like to engage zombies. Wait a minute. I hear, I hear lots of zombies. I'm gonna pick up this whatever this is candy bar, I guess. I don't really know what it is. Oh, there is a zombie. Oh, there's another zombie. This is bad. This is bad. I gotta take. I gotta engage these. Hold on. Let's go this way. Oh, Jesus, okay. So that's a group of zombies I don't want to engage simply because uh, there's a lot of them. All right, so if you look at the mini-map right there, you see that there's a little, like, blue marker. And that's basically a random event. Sometimes there are some airdrops that'll fall. Sometimes there are survivors. This one right here, I think it's just enemies. There are human enemies as well as uh, zombie enemies. And I uh, don't like to engage the human enemies because sometimes they have weapons. And they also can, you know, jump on things, obviously. And they have weapons. They are, honestly speaking, humans are probably one of the more dangerous enemies in the game. Oh, my weapon's about to get annihilated here. I'm just going to take this guy out real quick. He's dead. And then repair this weapon. Bada boom. All right, cigarettes. Found some cigarettes. All right, so I'm closing in. I'm gonna show one more thing, I guess, before I end the video. I, I would like it to be night. I guess I'll do another video where it kind of shows off the gameplay at night. But this right here is a safe zone, but if you look at the mini-map, it's actually red, which means it's not secured yet. So I'm actually gonna go inside of it and try to secure it. We have a zombie. I guess he's gonna try to come out the window here. I'm gonna let him. Come on, come on, come on, you can do it. Oh, two zombies, two zombies. All right, let's go around. At this stage, I really don't want to engage two zombies, but we are now inside the safe zone. 
Let's see if we can find where the zombies are. It might just be those two jokers. Let's see. I hear zombies. Don't see them anymore. I mean, I know where two of them are, but... Alright, I guess we're going to have to engage those guys. Uh, there we go. Jump in. Hello, sirs! Ah, Alright, stun that one. Take him out quick. Come on, take him out. Take him out. Oh, they're both still alive. Come on, guys. Come on. Ha! Alright, he's dead. Just saw his head explode. Yeah! That was neat. Alright, so I have secured... Wait. There might be another zombie in here. A... Wait, above? I think my minimap is telling me that the zombies are above me. Let's see. Yep, two zombies right here. Let's take these guys out. It's getting very dark. I'm going to turn my flashlight. Oh, God! Nope, go away, sir. That one. Hello? All right, I'm going to just take out your friend here. Yeah, he's dead. Excuse me, sir. Hello? Hi. You know what? I don't think you're bothering anybody. I'm just calling you... I'm going to call you Frederick. So, Frederick, uh, one of the really cool things that I like about you, Frederick, is that... Oh! Uh, Frederick, I'm sorry! You betrayed me! You jerk! Now fall to your death. Yeah. Frederick. Huh. He was not nice. Not a nice zombie at all. Get out of here. Alright, so now, now that I have cleared out all the zombies, I'm gonna jump... Ow, that was dumb. Now that I've cleared out all the Zambukis, let's climb up this. And I believe I can activate the power right here. Just like this. And that'll turn on the lights, which will keep this place safe. So now I can store certain things. So I can store, like, weapons and, you know, get some other weapons that I may have put there. And then I can also wait until night, which I want to do right now because I want to kind of demonstrate. I don't like being out at night, but I just want to kind of show off, you know, some of the things about it. So it's very dark, obviously, so I need my flashlight. Uh, let's actually go this way. There we go. Now, if I use my kind of ping ability right here, you'll see that nothing right now is around. But there are some additional enemies that are out and about that you really would rather not engage. So I'm actually going to go adventure a little bit and see if we can kind of find any. We got some items in here that we can we can grab since we're out. Yeah, being out here at night is no joke. Okay, so right there. Let's see if I can ping him again. All right, there he is. So that thing right there, I don't know if you can see it through the wall. He's right there. That is one of the bad dudes at this, at, during the night, and they are, they are mean. And they'll chase you down, and they will annihilate you. There are normal zombies still out, obviously, because zombies don't sleep, because they're freaking zombies. But uh, they, they're just normal, like they're, I can, I can take this guy out no problem. Just kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. Kill him. All right, so now I'm out of stamina. Now I got to wait. Ugh. I got to wait for the bar to fully load before I can even use my weapon. There we go. Yep, just kill him. What the? Whoa! Okay, now it's time to run because now that they've been alerted to me. All right, run, 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 run. Huh. Okay, hold up. Use this. So they don't like light, so there's one of my abilities is that you can use like this sort of weird looking light and it will slow them down. Huh. Okay, we gotta go, we gotta go. Go this way. Oh, there's more of them. Okay, go, 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 go. Run, ow. Oh boy. I'm gonna try to get to a light trap, which is one of the things in this game. The little green marker right there. Yeah. Huh. Just go, 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 go. All right, so it'll slow them down. Phew. Okay. So that's where they are. They're caught in that trap, which will allow me to get away. Come on, get that. Damn it. Shoot. Good. No, run. Okay. Uh, oh, 
Oh, come on, come on, come on. So being out at night, also, you can see that I got some agility points right there. Being out at night gives you a bonus. So the longer you're out at night, probably the faster you can actually level up. Oh, God, I didn't even realize that that was a thing. Okay, I'm sorry, sir. Yeah, man, it is. Huh, it is scary at night. I'm gonna try to use my, I'm gonna try to use my thing. All right, that, that thing's gotta go. Damn it, okay, run, run, run. God, okay, activate light trap. All right, so that's good. Oh boy, there's another one over there. I'm gonna try to get to this other safe zone right here. Whew. Okay, so you see on the minimap, you can see like where their site is. Oh, get away from me. So you don't wanna get caught in that. I'm just gonna jump in here and I am now safe. So there's a lot of lights around here. No enemies can hurt me. Huh. And now I can go and sleep until morning. But like I said before, the only reason why you would ever want to be out at night is because of the, um, it's because of the bonus to, uh, if you want to level up fast, there you go. So that's a little bit of a teaser of what to expect in Dying Light. I'm having a lot of fun because there's a lot of like really survival elements in this game where you're looking for uh, different items and sometimes you're low on any, you know, certain items so like you can craft uh, you have to manage equipment and things like that. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time.